with all the stuff going on at Reverie, I think it's safe to say that post Wado One Piece is going to be absolutely insane. However, I'd like to throw around an idea that I haven't really seen anybody else mention. The idea that post Wano, we will see a team up and alliance between the Straw Hat Pirates and the Red Haired Pirates. But to do that, I think the first thing I need to do is explain why I think Shanks would even be interested in forming an alliance with Straw Hat Luffy in the first place. Well, the goal of the alliance would obviously be to take down and deal with the threat of Blackbeard. Now, I know some people think that if Jake wanted to deal with Blackbeard, he would just do it on his own, but my question to people who believe that is, then why did Jake not do that years ago? Even before Marineford, when he met with Whitebeard, Shanks was asking Whitebeard to stop Ace, and he was implying that Blackbeard does need to be dealt with. He then currently, during Reverie, goes to meet with the five Elder Stars and says he needs to talk about a certain pirate, who is also most likely Blackbeard. But that then does lead to the question of, why is Shanks talking to the five Elders about it? Why is he talking to Whitebeard about it? If Shanks is so powerful, why doesn't he just go and go after Blackbeard? And I think the obvious answer is, Shanks probably doesn't think he can beat Blackbeard. Shanks clearly knows stuff about Blackbeard that we, the viewer, do not, and he seems to be not confident that he could stop Blackbeard on his own. If Shanks was confident he could take down Blackbeard, there's no reason he wouldn't have just done it already. Which isn't me knocking Shanks. I'm sure Shanks is ridiculously powerful, but clearly there's stuff going on with Blackbeard that he knows that we don't, and for some reason, he does not want to go after him by himself. Which is the reason he's asking people like Whitebeard, like the Gorse or the Five Elder Stars to get involved. Now, to be honest with you, just from a narrative perspective, I think it would be too convenient if the world government got involved right now with Blackbeard. They also, to be quite frank, realistically wouldn't want to get involved because they don't have the resources right now. Not with them hunting the warlord, not with the fall of Big Mom and Kaido and Wano, not with Straw Hat and Luffy being close to obtaining One Piece, and with whatever happened during Reverie involving Vivi and Sabo. As I mentioned earlier, they're also hunting down all the former warlords, which include characters like a Mihawk and Hancock, which isn't just going to be easy to do, especially taking Amazon Lily, which may even, in terms of fighting force, require more forces than taking down Mihawk, because Mihawk is just a guy. Amazon Lily is a full-on invasion of a well-defended island with its own defense force and army. This is also ignoring all the theories involving something going down with Alabasta, a possible buster call, then potentially going after Vivi and Cobra. So assuming the world government says no, and assuming Shanks is on a timer now, I don't think he would be going to the world government unless he was running low on time and felt like it needed to be dealt with immediately. In which case, if the world government said no, with the exception of, I guess, the Revolutionary Army, who seemed pretty preoccupied at the moment, Shanks' best alternative would be the crew that just took down Kaido. Luffy is also, at this point in time, a great pirate. I'm sure Shanks and Luffy are both able to meet at this point on equal footing. So, without any other option, because I do think Luffy would be a last resort. He's not as powerful as, say, the World Government or the Whitebeard Pirates were, and he's also Luffy. I'm sure Shanks doesn't want to put him in direct danger involving Blackbeard. But if things are really that desperate and Shanks knows this is an incredibly powerful pirate crew with a lot of allies, including the samurai of Wano, who Shanks knows from personal experience are busted to hell, it may make Shanks think maybe it's time to ask Luffy for help. And I'm sure, obviously, if Shanks went to Luffy, and said, listen, Blackbeard is a problem, I want to take him down, and I need your help. I want to form an alliance between the Straw Hat Pirates and the Red Hair Pirates. I'm sure Luffy would say yes. But how did this all tie into the rest of the story? Well, this is where things could get interesting. And this is where I'm going to combine a couple of ideas together in a couple of popular theories. One, 
that the island the Straw Hats are going to go to after Wano is Elbath. It's entirely possible that that is where the final road protagonist is, and perhaps Shanks' goal is to go there with Luffy and work to prevent Blackbeard from getting it. Perhaps Blackbeard has discovered that the missing road protagonist is on Elbath, and maybe his plan is to go take the final road poneglyph from Elbath and then go after the Straw Hat. And maybe Shanks is like, enough is enough. We need to stop this guy right here, right now. So maybe we could get an arc where the Straw Hat and the Red Hair Pirates adventure together on Elbath. And they could go on a separate non-Blackbeard related adventure together on Elbath involving getting the rogue Poneglyph and maybe some problems the island is having. And then like at the end of the arc, Blackbeard shows up. And then the arc could go a million ways. Maybe the Straw Hat has to leave to go deal with something involving Vivi and Alabasta. Maybe the Straw Hats end up leaving to go deal with like some of the commanders. They have to leave and then the Red Hair Pirates end up fighting the Black Bear Pirates. But for some reason the Red Hair Pirates and the Black Bear Pirates end up having a one-on-one -on -one fight. Or maybe we even get an instant where the Red Hair Pirates and the Straw Hat Pirates team up to fight Blackbeard, and maybe Blackbeard just still wins. Or maybe something else happens, Shanks dies on Elbath, I don't know. But the core idea here is that Shanks is so desperate that he reaches out to Luffy and says, Hey, Blackbeard's the problem. I'm trying to gather allies of our most incredible power to deal with him. Big Mom and Kaido were never on the table. I tried with Whitebeard, but he wasn't really interested. I tried with the world government. They're too busy and have too much going on, and they're just not interested either. I would have asked Dragon, but he's also too busy, and he really doesn't have access to the level of powerful warriors that I need for this. So, Luffy, I'm out of options. I would like to form an alliance between the Straw Hat and the Red Hair Pirate, and then we get the team-up arc that I kind of described earlier, or could go off in a completely different direction. One thing that could even happen is Jane could say, help me deal with this, help me do these things, and I will give you the final robot list. Maybe it's like Shanks has it, and he's like, listen, Luffy, I'll give it to you. Scott's free if you help me with these things. We're two pirates, we're in an alliance, you do X, Y, and Z for me, and I'll give you the rogue ponies list, and then you'll have the rogue ponies list, and you can go to Last Tell and become Pirate King. I'm not interested in the One Piece because I sailed with Roger or whatever. And then maybe the Straw Hat and Shanks go off to do X, Y, and Z, and it doesn't even involve Elbath. And we gotta remember, we don't really have any definitive proof that we're getting an Elbath arc. It could very well be that near the end of the series, post Wano, we stop getting island centric arcs. Once the Straw Hat find One Piece, maybe we'll just end up on Elbath for a while. Like maybe Elbath will end up being like the main base of operation during the final war, and that's how we'll see it. Like, we don't necessarily need to get an entire arc dedicated to just being on Elbath. It could just become a central location for a different reason. We still see it, and we still go there, but maybe not in an arc dedicated to Elbath, and maybe post Wano in this Straw Hat Red Hair Pirates adventure. It would also give us a chance to of course the Luffy and Shanks interaction and Usopp and Yasop interaction. But the core question is here, how would you guys feel if the Straw Hats and the Red Haired Pirate formed an alliance to accomplish a certain goal, probably involving the takedown of Blackbeard? I think it would certainly be interesting. I certainly think it would be a twist. It's not really something people have discussed at all, which would also make it very unique. It's also possible that maybe Shanks could teach Luffy a trick or two that would be helpful in the end game of the series. Maybe Shanks could be the final super buff for Luffy. Not so much as Shanks being like a sensei to Luffy, and more like Shanks just does something. And Luffy is like, what was that? And Shanks is just like, oh Luffy, didn't you know you could do X, Y, and Z with hockey at any time you wanted? Like Luffy, did you not know you could turn Conqueror's hockey into bullets in midair? And like, blast people with them, like with like air bullets, like something with Deku does in My Hero Academia. Not saying I think you can do that, just throwing out a concept. I think that would be interesting, but let me know in the comments down below what you would think of the Straw Hat and the Red Hair Pirate forming an alliance. Of course, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more videos like this one, 
Abola Elokai, have a great day. This is Nerd King signing out.